Another instantly recognizable lymph node for all the right reasons. You can see it's lymphoid. You can see that it has follicles out here towards the periphery. Uh, you can see it's surrounded by connective tissue. And you can see also that it's not normal. You can see the uh, follicles out here. You can see all lymphoid tissue in here. You can see that there are at least a couple areas, like here and here, where there are uh, abnormalities within this lymph node. Let's look at the smaller one first and zoom in on it. What you see in the smaller abnormality is that you have uh, chiefly uh, granular histiocytic looking cells uh, surrounding an area that is acutely necrotic and uh, underneath an area which looks like fairly mature lymphocytes for all practical purposes for all classical purposes this is a granuloma this is the classic definition of a granuloma the only thing we can't see too many of in this granuloma are multinucleated giant cells and don't forget whereas some lymph nodes or some granulomas may decide to have numerous giant cells some of them don't uh, this may be one out here uh, but chiefly most of the histiocytes or macrophages in this area have decided that they don't need to band together with too many of their friends to fight off whatever they're fighting off. Let's go to the other one as well. And once again, in the bigger granuloma, you can see chiefly granular, even partly necrotic perhaps, histiocytes as the primary cell of inflammation. You could see um, necrotic debris and neutrophils in the center, and you can see lymphocytes towards the outside. Another uh, lymph node, which is a, an example of centrally necrotic, or even if you'd like to use the word caseating granulomas. I told you before, caseating granulomas are TB until proven otherwise, but we've already seen a case of brucellosis, which was a caseating or centrally necrotic granulomas, and that wasn't TB, that was brucella. This is another bacteria, not too common, uh, called uh, Pasteurella tularensis, <clears throat> and therefore the disease is tularemia, uh, and the granulomatous reaction in tularemia is also uh, necrotizing in the center. You can see in this case it doesn't have too many, if any at all, giant cells, but put tularemia in your bag of tricks as one of the other things that can cause uh, necrotizing granulomas. Uh, and if you want to read about its interesting uh, um, life cycle and the clinical features, go right ahead. Thank you very much.